Thousands of years ago, in the 500s BC, lived a tyrant of Athens who would one day be crucial to the origins of Greek tragedy. His name was Pisistratus. He refounded the festival known as Great Dionysia with one little addition of his own, the performance of tragedies. Every year in March, all the people of Athens would gather. There'd be processions, animal sacrifices, and offerings to honor Dionysus, the Greek god of wine. But the main event was the theatrical contest. Three poets wrote, produced, and acted in three tragedies on a single theme. The best poet was then chosen by a group of judges. But what does this have to do with Antigone? Patterns would emerge in the contest, with the same top guys dominating the contest every year, like the Michael Phelpses of ancient Greek plays. At first, a poet named Aeschylus was thought to be the greatest. But in 468 BC, Sophocles entered the contest for the first time and won his first victory, creamy Aeschylus. From then on, he set off on a career of unparalleled success. Out of the 30 times he competed, he won 24 and never came in third. And guess what one of his winning tragedies was? The one and only Antigone. So really, while this festival was named after the god of wine, the only wine was the whining from Sophocles' competitors when he beat them every time.